Brett Kavanaugh and his wife Ashley appeared on the story with Martha McCallum just an hour ago. On the show, he categorically denied all allegations of sexual misconduct levied against him. Watch. I've never sexually assaulted anyone, not in high school, not ever. Uh, I've always treated women with dignity and respect. Uh, listen to the people who've known me best through my whole life. The women who've known me since high school, the 65 who overnight signed a letter from high school saying I always treated them with dignity and respect. Kavanaugh's wife, of course, came to the defense of her husband as well. I know Brad. I've known him for 17 years. And this is not at all character. It, it, it's really hard to believe. He's decent. He's kind. He's good. I know his heart. This is not consistent with, with Brad. Martha McCallum on our set tonight. They look in pain, both of them. You know what? Watching it again, uh, this was really hard for them. Really hard for them. And I felt like they were both kind of just tamping down the tears. They were just this close to crying. I think this is obviously incredibly emotional and devastating for them. I think they thought... And we all thought that that first day at the hearing when Democrats tried to shut down the whole hearing, yes. that it couldn't really get any worse than that. Right. And then they think they're all the way through and suddenly these accusations start coming out of the woodwork. And I think it would wreak havoc on anybody. Uh, they seem very solid together and very united in the effort. Because I said to them, you know, at some point, don't you just say, like, forget it. This is it's not worth it anymore. It's too painful. But that is not an option. For a uh, job that pays, option. you know, less than the average lawyer makes in town. You asked them about the, their girls, their family. Here was the response of Mrs. Kavanaugh. It's very difficult to have these conversations with your children, which we've had to have um, some broader terms for our youngest, but they know Brett and they know the truth. And we told them at the very beginning of this process, this will be not fun sometimes. You're going to hear things that people feel strongly and you need to know that. And just remember, you know your dad. Well, I bet the, their girls are not prepared for this though. No, oh, I mean, how, how could they be? Uh, you can imagine at their age, they're like mid, you know, teens, uh, 12, 10, in that age range. And it's obviously, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's devastating for them. And to have to explain, you know, I, I asked him specifically point blank about all of the allegations. And we talked about them in very specific graphic terms. I can't imagine um, what it's like to have to kind of frame that, as she said, broadly for their younger child. Um, but, you know, she also said they, they know their dad. And remember, even in the beginning, when he got right up in that first day, he said his daughter came down and gave him a hug that night. So um, I think he needs a lot of hugs to get through this period. But, you know, I mean, the allegations are what they are. That he's going to face this on Thursday. Uh, Christine Ford will be heard from. She'll have her moment to speak to make her peace. Um, but there's no doubt that this has been extraordinarily difficult for them, especially the new allegations over the weekend. Oh. When Clarence Thomas was accused of inappropriate behavior in 1991, he made a decision that he was going to fight back in a very tough way. Absolutely. I mean, he was not going to go down. Do you think Kavanaugh has made that decision? I. Kavanaugh was not in Clarence Thomas fighting shape today. I'll, I'll say that. And I played that clip from Clarence Thomas's uh, act when he just basically leveled the Senate yeah. Judiciary Committee. It's so, so powerful. Uh, that is not the frame of mind that Brett Kavanaugh appeared to be in today. He may be in that mood on Thursday. Um, I even asked him several times, you know, you say that this is all false. So what do you think is behind this? Where do you think this is coming from? Great is question. there some kind of political vendetta against you that's being played out? And we all know some of the corners where that could possibly be coming from. He did not want to go there at all. Doesn't want to conjecture about, about any of that. And Clarence Thomas clearly uh, called it what he thought it was. Yes. A high-tech lynching. And he felt that the Senate Judiciary Committee had sunk to such lows to entertain some of the accusations against him that they entertained. That was his feeling, yep. uh, and he persevered. So whether or not we'll see some of that fire in Brett Kavanaugh come Thursday, we'll see. He's going to need it. Martha McCallum, congrats on that interview. Oh, thanks, great. Tucker. Great Good to see you. See you.